All right, next I, we gotta talk know. about Kingdom. Yes. You want to start, Skylar? Honestly. Yes. Um. Sure. <laughs> okay, Kingdom. Why are you? Why am I? I you you never start, so I wanted to let. You okay, okay. It's I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm low key blanking. Okay, Kingdom. Who I enjoyed the most this week would have to be Icon because they covered A.T.'s a song, not just because it was A.T.'s, but because I, I can't say it wasn't different, but it did grow on me and I love Inception. It was interesting. Um, to be honest with y'all, I don't think I watched the voice performance. So you have to take what I say with the greatest <laughs> The boys? Did you watch SF9? No. No. Oh damn. Okay. So so let's be honest. I liked the one I watched the most. (laughs) I know. I told you guys. I said why. That's why I was like, I could start. I was like, damn, I I don't even think I watched all the performances. When you get called on when you didn't do the reading. You said said it's not because they're 18. She didn't even watch the others. Why? <laughs> no, when Olivia was like, "Do you want to start?" Normally, I'd be like, "Hell yeah, okay." But I was like, "Damn, I know I didn't watch those." Videos. Look, look, Liv, she was gonna lie her way through this. She was just gonna. Pick I was. The that we said about the other groups, and be like, "Yeah, I felt the same way." I- you're right. You're right. <laughs> you know what? To be fair, you know the boys did bring it. The boys did bring this time. I don't know why they said that about them. That is kind of crazy that it was this. <laughs> No, for real. When I saw him say that, I thought the same thing. That I, one move that he did. I, <laughs> I was gonna be like, yes, what? that move. Yes. <laughs> the goddamn. You know, you know, when that group did that what? thing on the on the show with that right. song. When he when we laughed, we remember that one time that I told a joke and then yes. we laughed. Oh my god. <laughs> It was good. It was very much yeah, going to be that. It was giving that. But then uh, Olivia ruined it for me. So here we are. Uh, yeah. Here we are. And the funniest part is she can't even name the boy. So she probably would have gotten away with it. Cause yeah, because absolutely. Be like, uh-huh. you saw Julia. She like, I, I saw Julia. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. He killed it. <laughs> I was like, Eric? Did you see Eric? That You know I know Eric. Did you see oh, Kevin yeah. and Eric's part? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kevin was like standing on a chair. He did it well. He hit that note. I hate that Olivia brought up SF9, though. She's like, did you watch SF9? I didn't do that. Like, no. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I will watch them, though. I was just really busy for this past week, but um, I wish I would have seen it. But I did, I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed Icons, for sure. Um, okay. So, I actually got really frustrated with Kingdom. I watched it. I watched the actual show when it aired, very dedicated. I woke up at 6.50 a.m. to do that. I never do that. But, um, I'm very frustrated with Kingdom right now, just because of fan wars. But... Um, no, I loved the performances. I thought that they were really cool. I'm really interested to hear what Olivia has to say about oh, yeah. SF9 in particular, <laughs> because it's very much up her alley. I was like, oh, shoot, she's going to love this. Also, I know you like the Steelers. So yeah. Like, they might be a cue in for Liv. She's very much into the action fighting sequences. And I won't lie, some of the tricks they did, insane. So... They did an amazing job. SF9 was great. I love the Steeler. Um, their set was insane. Like the part where he shot the rail and it like broke and swung the thing down. I was like, okay, y'all did that. They did their thing. They really mm-hmm. stepped it up this time. And I was really impressed. Um, for Icon, I don't know what I was expecting, but the dynamic set, that was like actually the film inception themed so cool so yes cool. i agree i dislike you <laughs> you have no say but help no that's that was sick um, 
that set was so cool. I love that they really took the story elements from the film and really brought it in, especially because, you know, mm-hmm. film kids. Awesome. Um, the Their rendition of the song was very mm-hmm. icon. I, I really like that they made it their own. I'm not going to lie. I missed Inception because I love Inception and I love ATs and their rendition of it. But I do like really value that they took that song and completely made it icon. Also, I love how much fun they have. Yes. I love how much they look like they're enjoying themselves and like they make it seem like it's not as much pressure. Oh yeah. Which is like, I love that about their performances. I think that's like the best part of their performances and how much fun they have. When Bobby like jumped back onto probably like a trampoline, I was like, that's sick. Mm-hmm. And his energy was great throughout his performance. There wasn't very intense choreo for some parts. Like some of it, he was, and I love that. And so I thought it was really, really good. And for the boys, obviously so impressed. I love to see Juyan do the tango. Like what the hell? Amazing. Um, I thought they really brought it. One of my favorite parts of the performance was News High Note at the end was mm-hmm. insane. I was so impressed with his live vocals. Like that was crazy. Um, there were just so many elements to the story. I love that they incorporated like the soundtrack from Moulin Rouge. So yeah, I really liked it. Um, I'm not sure how I would rank them because they were so different. And um, I just think that everyone really stepped it up, really excited for the second part. Yeah, I took notes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me see what I wrote. Uh, I said, I liked SF9's a lot. It was John Wick meets West Side Story. <laughs> Wow, I have to see It was see like, it was like dance fighting, but like they were doing, they did some, um, like some legit like jujitsu on there. Like they did a couple takedowns that were really cool. And I was like, okay. At first, like, you know, the yeah. dance fighting, I was like, uh oh, here we go. And then it got I know. cool. I, that first scene, that first scene, I knew you I was like, like, oh God. no. But, but then, they really they came, came through for it and there was the a flamethrower there were guns like there was that one part where he shot him and then there was like the blood splatter on the screen that was so cool yeah. their set was great the guy dangling and the you know the yeah they used the song really well they really went and ran with it um oh i said one of the boys gave me red velvet wendy zimzalabim with his outfit um he was wearing a suit, but like with like what? red fringe on it. And I was like, damn, all the Young boys Jack? look so good, except for whichever one was wearing that one. You are so rude. I think it was Hyun <laughs> He looked good. He had, he had hair red. I was excited. Um, I him. said the boys choreo was pro- the strongest, but they didn't have a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. Then yep. I said, loved icon yeah. inception concept, and Bobby brought the fun. As, as usual. usual. You know what? I think maybe they don't have as much pressure because they are a very well established group, especially compared to the rest of the groups in the show. So the stakes aren't as high for them. Maybe they can kind of ease off a bit. Or maybe they're just a fun girl. Yeah, well, I don't know. It just, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, I want to see the, I think, the I what I wrote down also is I think the Game of Thrones thing is holding them back. I think if they dropped that mm-hmm. and were having, and weren't forcing mm-hmm. themselves to hold on to this concept and they could just do whatever they wanted, it would, they would be having a lot more fun with it, I think. I think a lot of the pressure is coming from their performance during Road to Kingdom specifically. Because they like, knew they killed even, it on that. Yeah, obviously they held the first rank for the first few weeks, three mm-hmm. weeks in a row on that show. So I think they're really beating themselves up. But like, one, their fandom base is not as strong or as large as many mm-hmm. of the groups on here. And like, as much as people want to say that like, you can overcome it and it's not a factor. It is a factor. It's a factor. It's not the end all be all, mm. but it is a factor. And um, 
also I do think that I think it comes through that they're stressed right now like I think they're actually like yeah really stressed like even um for this episode you can't tell like when you watch the performance alone you can't tell but the the staff that they were carrying during their performance Songyan was supposed to light it on fire and it was supposed to be on fire while they were throwing it and passing it around oh so like also the lighting was messed up for like part of that sequence where they have the led lights like as the only lighting for them um and immediately after, like on the show, right after they performed, and that immediately was like, well, Song Yan messed up and he didn't do this correctly. And Song Yan's the leader and the oldest of them. So I know that like, even on the show, like he looked visibly like upset, like right after he finished his part, he went and watched the others perform and you could see that he was upset, like he'd messed it up for them. And I oh, felt really yeah. bad, like, watching that and especially because like they didn't give them time to even be like oh that was a good performance after they'd finished they immediately went to like what Damn. went wrong in the performance why and i was like like yeah like they did so yeah well. i think their choreo is like, really like strong said, their... like i have to give them that one yeah their choreo matched the concept and it was really good and they had some like exciting points in it but like you said i think I think that they are stressed and it's coming through on stage. Like we're missing the fun of what Icon had for their performances, which I think they had a lot of for Road mm -hmm. to Kingdom. So I want them, like my goal for them now is essentially just to build their fan base and to like feel good about themselves and how far they've come. Like they didn't get invited to be on Kingdom. They had to earn mm -hmm. their spot yeah and that's so impressive yeah because like they really made a name for themselves where they weren't really like talked about at mm -hmm. all before that so i just think like people should acknowledge that it is a competition show but it's first of all it's yeah. not that serious like i'm sick of fan wars they're weird and they're annoying but also like these artists are all working really hard and they, they all, all like get each along. other. And these performances they're giving us. They're yeah, doing these performances it. they're giving us mm -hmm. are amazing. Yeah. So, but if I had to rank it, I'd say Icon number one. Inception is one of my like top ten favorite movies ever. Maybe top fifteen. I don't know. It it, it like every time I watch it, I'm like, this is the best movie ever. But then like I forget about it, and then I'm like, ah, I don't know. I like other movies more, but. The fact that they referenced Inception, they had the totem, the spit, you know, the spinny thing, and they had the part, you know, the part mm -hmm. with the the buildings. Fly. That was so cool. And yeah. and Bobby is just electric on stage. I was not, I, I like, I I really only seen their music videos before, and that video that Skylar showed showed me of Bobby taking a fan out on a date. So I'd never really seen him on stage. He is having so much fun. It is so fun to watch him, and um. Mm -hmm. he's he's just having a great time sf9 uh, they really stepped up their game this is my second favorite they really brought it with the concept i was not like expecting that from them i thought they were going to kind of do the dramatic thing again i don't know but what they did with the stealer was really impressive and they brought it with the stage just like everyone like the boys have been killing it. The boys in ATs have been killing it on the stage design since like day one. But I felt like Icon and SF9, their stages weren't as, you know, like as good, but they both brought it with this. I thought SF9 really brought it with the stage design. And I loved the costumes. They all looked really good. Um, the choreo wasn't the strongest. They weren't hitting it super hard but i liked it i i loved the martial arts thing they incorporated into it it was very you're right it is very up my alley um john wick the musical mm -hmm. loved it and yeah the boys um it was a good i liked the tango the tango part was great um i liked the costumes except for the the one i mentioned before um I, it just, yeah, I can feel the stress coming through and I just want them to have fun with it. And it just, it makes me sad because they were having so much fun with Road to Kingdom, you know? So I just, I, I want them to like, almost like, not necessarily forget about winning, but like, 
Because I feel like, you know, I honestly feel like Icon, like, doesn't really give a shit about winning. They're like, we're Icon, like, who cares? And that's kind of why they're having a good time. Yeah. Like, the boys have made such a massive accomplishment by getting on here with all of these much bigger groups. And they're gonna get a bigger fan base just from being on it. And they should just, you know, give themselves a pat on the back for how much they've done. And, like, really just feel good about their position and how well they've done. And have fun with it. Still give their all. They, they should still, still gun for, for it. it but they should, you know, not be so stressed out. You know, I mean, I, I, it's hard to tell someone yeah. else that, but, you know, whatever, whatever they can do to relax and really feel good about what they're doing and how talented they are. And it has, no, you know, because obviously they're super talented and they've put together some um, the most incredible stages I've ever seen. And I, I want them to feel confident against these bigger groups. And I'm sure it's really stressful to be against them. Yeah, in some ways, I think Road to Kingdom itself is getting in the way of this competition this way, like this time around. Yeah. And I really think that they should like let go of living up to their like other people's expectations of them because of that and live up to their own expectations of what they know mm -hmm. they can do yeah. now and like really bring yeah. that. So I'm, I'm proud of them. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I really think they killed that song. They made That's it true. Their I like own. the version of it. The way they um, sang it was great. Yeah. And again, like their live vocals during it were mm. so good. I was, I was really like, I know they can sing, but I was so like, t I was taken aback a little bit by New's performance and mm. Hyunjae's. And I think Song Yeon in the last one also had a really like, high note and i was so impressed i was like okay so they're here they're doing it they're giving me what i asked for and also it was upbeat this time yeah like the song wasn't that was as fun. dramatic low, and i really love that 